the 2014-15 uneven season. 14, I'm sorry, 2015-16. Right. 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 Sure. I, well, the, the Department of National Research Management, we can go out and every year, about this time of year, we, we will go out and look at our uh, year exposures. So we will go out and collect some of that data. Um, and then just, you know, as we're, we're walking a piece of the property, we could even go out and look at um, some of the browse line, browse intensity kind of thing, and notice. If I understand you correctly, you believe that, that that's pretty limited and has a very significant scientific margin of error. Your exposures? Yes. Yes. You do understand the public health survey has significant things lost too. Yes. Yes, I understand that from probably the fall. I'm understanding that that when we're doing this infrared thing, that we're not only picking up like you know deer, we would pick up people, coyotes, large, you know, perhaps large dogs. Or I have no further questions, but thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Very helpful. Okay, did anyone have, uh, it, it looks like you've had a question. I, I did. Mr. So, Paul. Paul. Yes, would, would you mind? No. Okay, I don't know. Go around. Go around. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I find this uh, discussion very fascinating. Sure. I happen to be a hunter. I grew up on a, uh, grew up on a farm. Pretty familiar with concepts involved here. Uh, I find the science that we're trying to get to kind of mind-numbing. Um, as a professional, somebody who, how long have you been in the... the I, but as far as, how long have I been here at this point? No, no, resource management, generally. How long have I, I've been a research biologist for over 20 years. Okay, so in your judgment, I, I would think that you would have the common sense gut feel for whether a deer population is large, small, or not. Whether or not the browsing is over browsing in a you know saplings and so on and so forth. And so in your judgment, is our deer population small, medium range, large, and what would you recommend relative to hunting? If you were just as a natural resource person, I mean I can tell you what the deer sure. population is in my backyard, yeah. and I can tell you they're eating up a lot of saplings, and I'm maybe trimming a couple of them. Right. And so what is your judgment on this? I, I agree. I mean I don't think I don't think there's any professional biologist out there that's like say that um, your numbers are, are low around here. Uh, they're certainly high. Uh, if I didn't understand you correctly, uh, he feels that there, when I spoke with him the other day, he was saying that there are some, there's significant variation in the parks. For example, Swine Creek has a lower... There are. I mean, there are certainly areas within the county, yes, and thanks for pointing that out, but yeah, we have, we have lower numbers, um, areas, as you kind of indicate where there, there are are quite a few uh, hunters, the hunting community down in the um, Millfield area. It's very popular down there to hunt. So um, your numbers down there are quite a bit lower, dramatically lower than, than say, over uh, in Bainbridge area or something. You know, generally speaking, the, the DNR and the hunting's perspective, and I'm not hunting for, I don't want to tell you how many decades now. Um, generally, the DNR has used their judgment and said, okay, in this area, the deer population is XYZ, this is what we're going to call this year the population going the rule of thumb. They've not gone out to the science, infrared technology is relatively new. Mm -hmm. And so, and I think that's worked pretty well. Um, I don't know why we're going through all this complicated uh, mental gymnastics relative to this time. I, I don't understand. So it's just, for my, as a taxpayer and somebody who supports the parks, I'm probably the, the biggest uh, resource or uh, uh, environmentalist in this world. I support environmental activities in my, in my entire life. So. I mean, there's, I'm going to agree with you to a certain extent. I mean, but there are certain, obviously there's, you, you, in order to intelligently talk about it with, with the public or anyone else, I think we need some data. And I personally think we need some, some data, some basis, some foundations for, for speaking. I think that's possible. Which parks do you have deer taken out of them at all? Correct. Yes. Uh, okay. I, uh, let me comment a little bit. <clears throat> I own a property in Hamden Township, and I have currently 135 acres. We've owned it since 1953. 
and the deer population today is in strong or stronger than it's ever been. All of my plow land now goes into hay because you can't throw corn anymore, you can't throw beans because of the turkeys. And always remember that even though you might have the deer on your property, they're coming from someplace else. You can't control that far. So when I do, I have a, about a half a dozen hunters that I've known for years. You set them out at certain places so I know where they're at. You don't wander around. Nobody gets hurt. But I'd like to see so many deer taken a year. They have to. Because at one time, I don't know if you folks remember back uh, Twinsburg had a little earthquake. It was probably 20 years ago. And both of my sons live on the farm. They have some really nice houses back up off the little pasture. My daughter-in-law called me and she said, Dad, you never believe what I've just seen. The middle fields that were open had a hundred deer stand. My son was there and he said, I counted them. They're just standing in there whether they knew something was going to happen or had happened. But it was unbelievable. And at any time, you can find deer all over our place. And of course, the hunting area is just to the one side. So I would strongly, I would strongly uh, urge that we look at that area if we take it from the state. Does Bill volunteer to take a couple of those deer for you? Pardon? If you need somebody, I'll certify in that one. I'll, I'll take your name. I'll be glad to. But I, I'm trying to control this. In fact, the first year we had a deer season was like, I think, probably 54. We took 10 bucks off the farm. 10. We had people coming from Napoleon, Ohio, all over the place. And it was. But right now, I'd say there's as many deer as I've ever seen. So, going forward, uh, you're going to have some numbers and some presentation for us in May at the board meeting. And we're specifically talking about hunting white-tailed deer. Only. Correct. Yes. Correct. We can never ever hunt fox or some of the animals that people have. So the so staff recommendation, if I'm understanding correctly, is that we would continue our white-tailed deer hunting program. <coughs> measures should be taken to determine as necessary the biological carrying capacity of our various parks mm -hmm. or white tail deer. Paul, yeah, Paul, you'll have your proposal in May. Yeah, I can certainly have not, you know, pretty right. some proposals for you to have to be Okay. Okay. So next would be a motion to go into executive session in regards to land acquisition. Absolutely. And, and at that time, I and I know it's not specifically on the agenda, but Keith, I'd like to include you, and we could possibly talk about your land previous to the southern property. Mm -hmm. Please. Thank you. Motion and second to go into executive session. Mr. Shumway. Uh, yes. Mr. Warndorf. Yes. Mr. Gertz. Yes. Very difficult to say. We've got, we're looking at a lot. 